County, a Winston-Salem Forsyth County School student is now facing charges after being caught on video slapping his teacher. The Forsyth County Sheriff's Office says this happened in a classroom at Parkland High School. Video of the incident is making the rounds on social media right now. WXAI is choosing not to show that. But in it, a student stands over his teacher who was sitting down at the time and slaps her in the face twice. A secure custody order was issued for that student this morning on several counts, including communicating threats and two counts of assault. In a statement, Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools Superintendent Trisha McManus says this behavior will not be tolerated. Parkland's principal told families the student will also face disciplinary action in the district. Also breaking this afternoon in Greensboro, police are looking for a driver who they say hit and killed a pedestrian and then drove away. This happened just after 1:45 this morning on North Holden Road, and it caused a closure between Watauga Drive and Cascade Drive for several hours as investigations uh, continued. Now, those investigators say 36 year old Justin Presnell was walking in the southbound lane when he was hit by a vehicle. Police tell us that driver left after hitting him and Presnell died at the scene. Investigators do not have a description of that vehicle. They say they are still looking into the crash. Happening now, one lane of Battleground Avenue in Greensboro is closed due to a broken sewer line. This is happening between Brassfield Road and New Garden Road. We're told the outside northbound lane is closed while repairs are underway. That work is not expected to be finished until tonight at 10 o'clock. So you're asked to avoid that area in the meantime if you can. In Randolph County now, a family lost nearly everything in an overnight fire, including several pets. The East Side Fire Department posted these pictures of the blaze on Young Road on social media. They say it broke out just after 3.30 this morning. Firefighters from several departments arrived to find this two-story log home engulfed in flames. Now, because of the size of the fire, crews had to call in additional tanker trucks from another department. We are told the fire reduced the home to rubble, including everything inside and several vehicles parked near the structure. No injuries were reported. The cause is still under investigation this afternoon.